The Quinnipiac Bobcats are going to be going up against the Iona Gales this weekend. What's going to be happening this weekend? And can the Bobcats pick it up after a disappointing loss on Tuesday? We'll find out now on this episode of On Deck. Welcome to another episode of On Deck. My name is Nick Antonias, and alongside my fellow beat reporter, Ben Rickavicious. Ben, how are you doing today? Doing great. Excited for this weekend series against the Iona Gales. It's going to be a fun weekend of baseball. Sounds good. Now, the Quinnipiac Bobcats are going to be going up against the Iona Gales, like you mentioned already. So I want to just give a little preview of what do you see in the Quinnipiac Bobcats, and what is one player you're going to be looking at this series coming up? Yeah, so the Bobcats have struggled a little bit recently, Nick. Um, the last few series, obviously, they go on the road against Niagara, drop two of the three, a really embarrassing walk-off at the end of the game. Uh, Braden Seberg drops the fly ball, and they ended up losing that series. And then they go get crushed on the road against Fairfield, 13-3. to So I'm predicting a bounce-back weekend for the Bobcats. Iona has had their struggles. They haven't played a single home game, in fact, this year. So really interesting to see that in their dynamic on the road. But one guy I'm looking at for Quinnipiac this weekend is Sebastian Muller. He had a terrific game in Game 2 of the Niagara series. He hit three home runs in a single game, four hits total. Really carried the Bobcats to a big win. So I think against some of this, this weaker Iona pitching staff, he could really feast. On this season, he's hitting 282, 29 hits, 12 RBIs. He's having a really good season, and I think he can have a really big weekend against Iona. Yeah, and the good thing about Sebastian Moeller is that he's a phenomenal defender for the Quinnipiac Bobcats, and I'm kind of leaning towards that a little bit. I'm going to go with McGuire Tuffy as a player to look forward to this weekend. And McGuire Tuffy, so far this season, he is batting 267, and he is a very big contributor when he um, as a glove for his glove, excuse me. And the big thing about uh, Tuffy is that in his last six games, he only got one error in that span, which is huge for this Bobcats team because the big thing is that they would finish each game with four to five errors. So to have someone who has a really good glove like McGuire Tuffy is huge for this Bobcats team. But also in those last six games, Tuffy has been on fire. He is batting 428 with four RBIs, nine hits and 21 at bats. So that's gonna be my player to look forward to in this series coming up. Because if Moeller is hot like he was against Niagara and Tuffy is still keeping that hot streak going with his glove that he's been working very well with, they're gonna be doing they're gonna be doing a good job this series. Now, let's lean towards the Iona players because Iona, they're a little bit shaky when it comes to pitching and they're also shaky in the hitting. So what is one player for you that is going to be the X factor of this weekend series? Well, Nick, I went with the obvious answer probably here with Jake Field. He's having an incredible season. And if Iona wants to have a chance in this series at all, this weekend series away, they need Jake Field to do some superhuman things. Uh, this, this year, he's more of a contact hitter. So he's getting on base a ton. He's had 14 games with multiple hits, including his last five games. He's got multiple hits in each of those, including uh, eight hits in the series against Niagara on the, or excuse me, St. Peter's on the road, who they just played. He's hitting 370, 37 hits, four home runs, 25 RBIs, 17 walks. Really interesting. A guy who's gonna be pesky at the plate, really try to push to get on and he'll take you deep in counts. So if Iona wants to have a chance this weekend, they're gonna need some big things from Jake Field. The big thing about the Iona team is that they work the count and mm. they're not really focusing on the home run ball. Usually there are certain college players that they focus on hitting home runs. And I'm actually gonna to lean towards James Kemp. He is the first baseman for this Quinnipi uh, uh, Iona Gales team, excuse me. And he, in those last series against the St. Peter's, he batted 583 and he had no home runs. He was just getting on base. He was a hitting machine and he was working the count. And this is actually a very interesting fact. So far in this season alone, he has only had one error. So it's gonna be huge for this Iona Gales team to have a, a first baseman who is confident enough to get the picks up and get those line drives because first base is a very difficult position. So you have someone like James Kemp, a very tall, big player, getting those ground balls, working the count. He's gonna be a very dangerous player coming up for this weekend series for the Iona Gales. And now, finally, since that this weekend series is happening, there's gonna be three games coming up. What is your prediction of who's gonna be winning each game and what do you think the scores are gonna be? 
I think this series is going to be a 2-1 Quinnipiac series victory. While I'm tempted to go with a Quinnipiac sweep for this weekend, just taking a look off the bat at Iona's pitching numbers, I mean, they're, they got a, their staff has a 9.36 ERA to start the season, which is really rough. And you can look at Quinnipiac's pitching too, which hasn't been great. But I think, really, Quinnipiac pitching is going to have a good weekend. They're going to settle down. We kind of saw in the last home series against Marist, you know, each pitcher in that series um, gave up at least one run in the first inning. I think that changes this weekend. I think the pitching starts to find their group. Obviously, there's guys like Field and who are going to be pesky about that. But I think overall, Quinnipiac will find a rhythm pitching, which we know the offense is going to get hits. Right. It's more about that pitching settling in. Now, this was actually a very difficult question to think about because last season, Iona, the Iona Gales were at the bottom of the MAC, and they took two out of three from the Bobcats, which that's when you know that like the Bobcats were just not really a great team last year. But now this year is a little bit different. They're feeling more confident when they're hitting. Kevin Cedar and Tim Blaisdell, they're getting a little bit more confident each and every start. Kevin Cedar, he went six innings against Niagara. So I'm actually gonna go, I'm gonna agree with you here. I'm gonna say two out of three for Quinnipiac, but it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be tough because we see in the Bobcats, they're very inconsistent. You go up against teams like Fordham, who they take, um, Fordham takes two out of three, but then they go up against a team like Maris and they sweep them. So this team is a little bit inconsistent, but I feel like that since they have the home field advantage, they have a little bit more confidence in themselves because they do really well when they're back at home. But another thing is it's going to be super hot out and that's going to be something that will probably feel a little bit comfortable for these players because so far they have been playing in 40 degree weather, 50 degree weather, super windy. But now you're going to be getting the high 80s and they don't have to worry about, you know, getting injured or whatever. They're going to play very hard. And I think that it's going to be a weekend series of Quinnipiac taking the series and I'm going to see a little bit more of a pitching duel more than a hitting duel because this Bobcats team, they're feeling a little bit more comfortable with the pitching, but the Iona Gales hitting, they're all about contact and not much about the home run ball. Now that's all we have for on deck. Be sure to make, um, be sure to check out the weekend series for the Quinnipiac Bobcats versus the Iona Gales. I'm Nick Antonias. This is Ben Rickovicious and this is on deck.